Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is off of a question on Facebook. They asked me if I had a file of a vector tree. He, I replied back he doesn't know what kind of tree the customer wants yet, but I just typed in tree silhouette clip art. You always want to kind of look for one, one that doesn't have a trademark on it, but also one with the largest, and you can barely see that if you can see that at all, because I can barely see it. This is a pretty small bitmap, and just double click on it and you get this image by itself. Right click, copy, go to Corel Draw, right click. I must not have copied it good. Let's go back to that. Right click, copy, go to Corel, right click, paste. And you can tell it's a clip art or a bitmap because of the fact that it's uh, got a white bounding box around it. But the reason I decided to do the video because it traces really good. Almost all trees do. But I would go to resample. This tree is only 72 dots per inch. So let's make it 300. Press OK. And it's also very, it's pretty small. You don't want to make it any larger. Uh, that was a mistake a lot of people make. They'll blow it up to the size they want and then start tracing it. That just makes more work for Corel Draw. Then you want to convert it to a bitmap and you want to convert it to black and white and press OK. Then you want to go to bitmap and go to outline trace clip art. I use that almost 100% of the time and it works the best. It takes just a, a second to trace it. It's already done and hit OK. Most of the time, your new copy will be on top, and it is. So just let's delete that old copy. And then you just need to go, and I'm using the yellow box, and you can see the white background is still there. And you can get that to be removed inside of the trace, but sometimes this is just as easy or easier. We're going to go to group and ungroup, and then just click on the black and move it over. All the white stayed. So now we can select all the white and move this back and you have a vector tree. I left click no fill. I'm going to right click the mouse with hairline. This, tr this tree would engrave good. It would cut out really good. It's got, uh, it doesn't have any sharp borders. It doesn't have any sharp edges. That might be too, a little bit too close for the, uh, so let's do this. That one, and I moved the yellow box so I wouldn't uh, click on the yellow box. You could just take that, it's still connected, break curve apart, take that shape and just move that shape inward into the tree so it won't be too close to your edge. And you can look at all these, you could add some. Uh, I like playing around and just like control D and make a duplicate and put it over here and then mirror it so it doesn't look like the first one. Take your yellow box away now. And since you've changed some things, if you're going to engrave it, you could use the Smart Fill tool. It will fill in all the spots. And that tree right there doesn't have an outline and it'll engrave very good. And you'll notice that the part I added is that part I just doubled it up anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching